Season 14 of Gold Rush has concluded, leaving fans on the edge of their seats with an open ending that hints at a dramatic turn of events. All eyes are fixed on Kevin Beats as he makes his re-entrance into the mining world, sparking rumors of a potential shift in power dynamics within the Beats family. Could Kevin's return signify a bid to challenge his father, Tony Beats, for control? As the season draws to a close, Kevin Beats arrives to have a crucial conversation with his father, Tony, about securing his own mining claim. The encounter is described as equal parts awkward and boring, setting the stage for a tense negotiation. Tony, known for his no-nonsense approach, refuses to discuss any details about the land until Kevin fulfills two specific tasks, welding new screens onto the idle shaker deck at Indian River and running the dredge for the rest of the season. Undeterred by the challenging season, Kevin takes on the tasks assigned by Tony, contributing to the final push for gold. A comprehensive cleanup operation reveals a total of 648.14 ounces of gold, bringing Tony's season tally to an impressive 3,054 ounces. This success paves the way for Kevin to negotiate for his own mining claim. Initially, Kevin had refused to participate in the season due to disagreements with Tony's business approach. In a symbolic move, he chose to stay home, emphasizing the severity of the discord. However, a call from Monica, perhaps sensing an opportunity for resolution, persuaded Kevin to return to the mining operations. During Kevin's absence, Tony makes a tempting offer to his son, the opportunity to independently run Scryer Creek without any interference. This enticing deal includes unlimited access to all necessary equipment. Despite the appeal, the offer is left open, creating suspense and leaving fans wondering about Kevin's final decision. As Kevin returns for a second time, the focus shifts to the details of Tony's offer. The primary concern is Tony's commitment, as his decisions are known to be fickle. Tony acknowledges that an independent operation for Kevin will be a costly endeavor, and they deliberate over the financial implications. Despite the challenges, Tony encourages Kevin to get started, emphasizing the urgency of paying bills and promising further discussions. The conclusion of Gold Rush Season 14 leaves fans eagerly anticipating the resolution of the Beats family drama. Will Kevin Beats accept his father's offer and venture into independent mining at Scryer Creek? Or does his return signal a deeper desire to challenge Tony's authority and forge his path in the gold mining world? As fans await the next season, the suspense lingers, promising an exciting chapter in the ongoing saga of the Beats family in the quest for gold. The dramatic conclusion of Gold Rush Season 14 has left fans buzzing with anticipation as Tony Beats and his son Kevin embark on a new chapter together. The season wraps up with a scene where Tony and Kevin Beats inspect the land that Kevin is poised to take over, signaling a potential shift in the Beats family dynamics. As the mining saga unfolds, the question on everyone's mind is whether Kevin Beats will emerge as a rival to his father, Tony Beats, in the seasons to come. The Beats family has been a cornerstone of Gold Rush, with Tony Beats leading the charge in the quest for gold. However, the latest developments suggest a turning point, urging Tony to consider the future and allow his children to carve their paths independently. Season 14's conclusion hints at Kevin Beats' desire to step out of his father's shadow and build his legacy in the gold mining industry. Kevin's Mechanical Prowess Kevin's return in the finale showcases his undeniable mechanical and technical talent, a trait that has been highlighted throughout the series. His contributions in the final episodes resulted in a significant haul of more than 600 ounces of gold for Tony Beats. However, to transition from supporting roles to leading his operations, Kevin will need more than just mechanical expertise. The challenges ahead involve strategic planning, hiring workers, financial calculations, and overall operational management. Despite these hurdles, Kevin's extensive experience in the mining industry positions him well to tackle the complexities that come with independent mining. As Kevin contemplates taking charge of part of his father's work, the question arises, could he become a rival to Tony Beats in the coming seasons? While Kevin's separation appears to be a strategic move to assert independence, it remains unclear whether this will evolve into a competitive dynamic between father and son. Tony Beats, 
with his vast land holdings, often delegates responsibilities to his children, making it a norm within the Beats family. The allure of the upcoming seasons of Gold Rush lies in the potential clash or collaboration between Tony and Kevin Beats. Will Kevin successfully navigate the challenges of independent mining and emerge as a formidable force, or will the father-son duo continue to work seamlessly together? The future of Beats mining hangs in the balance, and fans are eagerly awaiting the unfolding saga of the Beats family. As Gold Rush Season 14 concludes with Tony and Kevin Beats exploring new opportunities, the stage is set for a compelling narrative in the seasons to come. Will Kevin Beats become a rival to his father Tony Beats, or will their collaboration lead to greater success in the gold mining industry? The intrigue surrounding the Beats family dynamics promises to make the upcoming seasons of Gold Rush some of the most captivating in the show's history. Only time will tell whether Kevin Beats will carve his path as an independent mining magnate or continue to contribute to the Beats family legacy under his father's guidance. Since joining Gold Rush in Season 6 alongside his father Tony, Kevin Beats has been a crucial and consistent component of the show. His commitment to the mining industry has been unwavering, with his departure motivated by a desire for a simpler life. Taking a break from mining allowed him to gain perspective and potentially discover a renewed drive to re-engage in the gold mining game. Kevin Beats, born on June 10, 1988, is the eldest of the Beats family, raised in a mining environment from a young age. Kevin Beats embarked on his journey with Gold Rush under the guiding shadow of his father, Tony Beats, as an integral part of the Beats crew. His initiation into a leadership role occurred in 2011 when he assumed the responsibility of leading the Eureka campsite for a commendable three years. This early challenge showcased Kevin's capacity to manage and lead, laying the foundation for his future endeavors. In the fifth season of Gold Rush, Kevin made his on-screen debut, a pivotal moment that marked his official entry into the world of televised gold mining. At the age of 26, Kevin demonstrated his versatility within the Beats crew by working on the Paradise Hill claim, undertaking the disassembly and reassembly of the Beats Bacon Strip Machine 1 at Clear Creek and Eureka Creek claim, respectively. Since that inaugural appearance, Kevin has become a staple on the show, solidifying his status as one of the core cast members. Despite holding degrees in both leadership and computer science, Kevin's true prowess lies in his extraordinary ability to tackle mechanical challenges, often seen dexterously fixing machines and handling unforeseen issues, a testament to his indispensable role within the mining operations. Whether it's handling dozers, scrapers, rock trucks, or excavators, Kevin exhibits an extraordinary capacity to operate these.